So this is Jan.ai, basically chat GPT alternative that you could download and operate locally and offline on your PC. However, here I ask a simple question to this AI tool. What is the current price of Apple stock? And it is able to open a browser and then navigate to some websites and then eventually it gave me this answer, which is actually based on real data on the internet. And this is actually the demonstration of the MCP capability in Jan.ai. And recently they got some new models that are able to actually do this. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can enable that feature, the MCP features in Jan.ai. So you can use this offline local AI tool to perform some tasks that is basically online. Like for example, you can ask it to summarize your email or maybe check some latest posts from someone on LinkedIn or just get some news from the internet. Basically, some typical stuff that you could usually do with Gemini or ChatGPT, but it can run locally. And also, uh, we are going to be using some third-party tools, but trust me, they are free. You don't even need to sign up for anything, and they are very, very easy to set up. So, let's get into it. First, let's navigate to jan.ai, and you can download the program to your computer. And after that, you can open it. And if you're doing this for the first time, you'll see something that kind of look like this. Actually, not like this because there is no model yet. So you have to download the model before you can, well, chat with the model. So, so to do that, just navigate through settings, uh, not settings, sorry about that, the hub menu. And then you can download models that are known to support MCP. And right now, there aren't many. So there's only Jan Nano. Jan Nano with 128,000 token context window. Jan version 1, which is the latest thinking model. And I think it's pretty good. I tried it, it's pretty good. And also there is Lucy, but do not use Lucy for this video because it only support MCP from server. But that's not the MCP server that we server that we are going to use. So only use Jan Nano or Jan version 1. It's up to you which one. And here, to get that model, you can just navigate to the hub menu and then search for the model. So there is John version 1, actually have the Q4 version, the 4-bit quantization. You can download the bigger one if you want to, it's going to perform better, but we'll need more computing power. And if you don't have a very powerful PC, I do recommend to use the John Nano model. Just type John Nano, and you should be able to find the model called Jan Nano. So there's this one, 128,000 token context window. There's also this one that has been fine-tuned by Unslot. It's up to you which one that you want to use. Either way, they work great. And when you open it, you'll see that it has too much variations, honestly. It's kind of confusing, especially for beginners. But I'm not going to explain everything uh, about the, the naming convention of these models. But what you need to know here, usually, the Q number represents the bit quantization, like 3-bit quantization, 4-bit quantization, etc. That means the compression. So the bigger number, that means the compression is light, but the smaller number, the compression is heavy. So let's say Q Q3 is going to be not as good as Q5 or Q6. So because Q3 has been very, very compressed, and therefore usually the model is also very small compared to other bigger models like if you look, look at the number size here the the q3 size is 1.8 gigabytes but the q4 is 2.4 it is bigger because again the compression on the q3 is heavier than q4 now after that you can click the download button and you can click use and now you can actually have a chat with the AI model but i'm not going to be doing that here let's enable the mcp first so to do that just navigate to settings and then go to general on the experimental features just enable that and now we can access mcp servers so this is the one that we want to use it's called browser mcp it is actually a chrome extension that runs on a well on a browser and we don't have to sign up for anything there is no api key and so far the setup process is very very simple now just enable that and then I do recommend to enable allow all MCP tool permissions so you don't have to manually click agree every time AI want to do something on the web. Now, let's go to Google Chrome and search for Chrome Web Store. And we want to install that extension. So search for browser 
mcp hit enter and you want to install this one from browser mcp.io click add to chrome and then add extension and just wait until it is installed and it will open the welcome page that look like this click get started okay so there is this sort of guide about how you can set up the extension uh, just click set up mcp server and it will tell you it will guide you about how you can set up the extension so first you need node.js on your computer so you need to download the program and you can just keep it running actually it's something that uh, you don't have to worry about that. Basically, it is a developer tool, but again, if you're not a developer, don't think too much about it. Just download the program, and then that's about it. It's basically a component that will be used by the tool, by uh, Django.ai, and also by MCP server. So this is necessary. Just click the download button and install it normally. It is like installing any other software. It's very simple. Now, after that, uh, you can close this, and let's continue the next step. It's it seems to be server configuration. Usually, you don't have to worry about this because most of the times, I think the configuration on Generate AI is already correct. If you click this, you will see that it is exactly the setting that is recommended by this Chrome extension. So there is nothing that we need to do. Click Setup Extension, and it recommends to pin the extension. Just click this icon, click Pin on Browser MCP, and click the extension, and then click Connect and there you go so uh, i do recommend to right click on the extension click manage extension and then enable allow in incognito this is particularly necessary if you're using the john version one model otherwise it's not able to control the browser now let's close this and basically we are ready for some automation tasks using mcp in john.ai so let's go back to john.ai again and let's start a new chat. Okay, first I'm going to ask a simple question. What is the current stock price of Microsoft? And as you can see, we got these tool callings that are possible now. Uh, let's send a message and just wait for a model to be initialized. All right, so after several minutes, it got the answer. And apparently the price is $517. And by the way, it does open this page, Google Finance page, and it's not me. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the process in real time because it's just very, very slow. So I have to skip forward and show you the result. And basically it opens this page and it is actually scrolling down into these sections. And now it knows the price of Microsoft stock. Now it says, $517, but now I can see that it is $513, but it's still within the margin of error because again, the price is actually changing every second. So I would say the answer is correct. And as you can see, it is able to utilize the MCP from Gender AI in the Chrome browser, and it can control the browser and do other stuff on the internet. So that's basically how you can enable mcp on gender ai and allows the ai model to be able to navigate the web and give you the most relevant answer so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video